Welcome back everybody to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to see if we can find the gateway to the Terran sector. So I'm back down here in Gaian Prophecy. You guys told me uh, in the comments that there is a gate um, that leads to the Terran sectors. So um, there's a couple things you can do if you're, if you're trying to look for another gate. Uh, you can look to see if there are ships moving you know off into the to the distance into an area that you know you don't have anything marked that's a telltale sign but you know another thing that occurred to me is that the cigaris sectors that we're in there is no wharf or shipyard in either one of these sectors and they've got to have one i would think so what we could do is um communicate uh, is Open up Hello a there. comm to this ship and say, where can I find... Yeah, way to shipyard. Sending you information now. Ooh, this might do it. Yep, I think that did it, you guys. Whoops. Ah, there we go. Okay, so she just showed us where the gate is. Fantastic. Cool. All right. So let's head on over that direction. And I believe we have found the gate to the Terran Sector. So this is amazing. Let's go check it out. Yes, indeed. There we go. Okay. Entering system. Brennan's Triumph. Brennan's Triumph. I remember that from um, an old game. I thought Brennan's Triumph in the old game had like a destroyed planet. Is there a destroyed planet in this? I might be thinking about a different sector. I don't see a destroyed planet. Uh, what does it say in uh, the information? Uh, let's see. We want to go map. Information. Brennan's Triumph. Originally connected to Earth via a jump gate, Brennan's Triumph, most significant planet, Taurus was the first planet outside of the solar system to be colonized by human explorers. When they lost contact with Earth, most of these settlers would eventually travel further into the gate network to establish a government in Argon Prime. After the system's invasion and the tragic raising of Taurus during the first Terraformer War, the surviving colonists fled, leaving the system uninhabited. When the Xenon were pushed out of the system, Britain's Triumph became a haven for piracy, most notably the organized slave trade much to the dismay of the Argon Federation, who repeatedly attempted to put an end to this criminal activity. While the Argon Federation failed to regain control of the system, the jump gate shutdown would prove disastrous for the resident pirate groups. Since their economy relied exclusively on raiding neighboring systems, it completely collapsed when those systems became inaccessible. When the Terran government established a new connection between Neptune and Brennan's Triumph, they sent the Pioneer Initiative in to colonize the system. Now the Cigars Pioneers are happy to have claimed it for themselves despite its troubled history. Cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I certainly could be wrong about this, um, but it seems to me like I remember Brennan's Triumph having like a destroyed planet in it, but I, I might, I'm probably thinking about something else. Okay, cool. So that suggests that we should be able to find an the Neptune system um, from here. Okay. So, um, let's start off with a um, long-range scan. Just kind of see what's going on here. Uh, that's the shipyard over there, too, by the way. All right. Oh! Ooh! What in the world is that? I'll bet you these are minefields. Hmm. Dang, man. Okay, so let's um Let's go ahead and investigate what these are. Let's see. Right that way. I'm, I'm pretty sure these are going to be probably minefields, and if they are, 
we're probably going to have to clear them because otherwise it puts our traders in jeopardy when they come through here. Uh, but let's just go see what we're dealing with here first. And you know what I think I'm going to do too? I think we're going to do <laughs> a quick save just before we go over there because, you know, you never know. Yep, that is definitely a mine. Um, whoa. Okay, slow down. Let's see if we can blow it up. Oh, shit. Wow, we were just a little bit too close to that. Um, yikes. <laughs> we just about bought the farm. Uh, okay, so, yeah, those are definitely minefields. Um... That's a solar power plant there. So I might, I'm probably gonna have to come through here later and clear those out. And I'm thinking probably a missile launcher with at least guided missiles, maybe even smart missiles. Guided missiles are gonna be cheaper. Might be the easiest way to do that. Uh, because right now I've got the Neutron Gatling gun and it's it's just a beast, but it does have a really bad spread, so it makes it kind of hard to kill those. And, you know, we got a little close to that. Okay, well, let's um, let's discover the other stations, and then I will, I'll will i have to put it on my to-do list to come back here. Again, like I said, with some missiles, most likely, uh, to blow these guys up. Uh, but let's get these other stations discovered first, so we know what they are. We know this one, of course, is a shipyard. Okay, what's this? MRE packing facility. Okay, so MRE facility. Um, we should be careful here. We don't want to just fly any old place because there's mines around. All right, let's see what this station is here. Oh, I see a gate. Uh, right in, directly in front of us, too. That might be the gate we're looking for. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Medical supply factory. station. Not quite close enough to that one. You know what? Object. That looks like an inactive gate. Because I don't see the blue stuff, you know, coming through it. Yeah, inactive jump gate. Okay. All right, well, that isn't going to do us any good. Let's... Silicon carbide It's a mill. silicon carbide mill. Okay. I know the Terrans have different materials than the rest of the, the races do, so silicon carbide's something we're not familiar with. Let's go check out this station next. Station. That's a solar power plant. That's a solar power plant. What's solar this? Solar power plant. MRE packing facility. Okay, let's slow down and take a look at the map. We don't want to run into a minefield here. Oh, yeah, there are some mines. Alright, let's Let's take these mines out. Unknown object. Oh, that's a tracker mine. Okay, that's even more dangerous. All right. Let's see if we can hit it. I don't want to get too close because it'll start coming after us. It's just that, like I said, the spread on this weapon is really bad for 
Oh, it's coming after us. Okay. Oh, we got it. Nice. Okay. So I'm going to assume that these are also tracker mines. Let's take them out as well. Yeah, these suckers come after you when you get within a kilometer of them. This is definitely going to be easier with missiles or even a, a more accurate weapon. Like, even the pulse laser is more accurate than this thing. I mean, it works eventually, but... Okay, let's take out these as well. Hey, is this screwed up our rep with... Um, uh, what, not Talati. Doesn't seem to. At least we haven't dropped below 15, so there's that. If we get a rep hit at all for killing these, it's probably very minuscule because, you know, they're just such small objects. That would be my guess anyway. Unknown object. I hope they have a warp in this system too because we need to repair. <laughs> We're not in the best of shape here. I guess I could manually repair, actually. Let's just be super careful here. There we go. Okay. One more to go. Unknown object. There we go, finally. And the spread is bad on this weapon. Okay. Um, so that takes care of that small minefield, but I'm definitely not going to use this weapon for the these bigger minefields. Well, you know, I'm thinking, like I said, smart, just light smart missiles would probably be the easiest way to take them out. But even pulse lasers would probably work fine, you know, for those because they're just a lot more accurate than this weapon. Okay, so let's see here. We got another station this way. I think these are all just more mines. So what we're going to do is head to that station, but we're going to... Um, actually, you know what? Let's do this instead. Let's go this way. No, nope, that's not what I want you to do. We'll go that way, and then we'll turn towards the station. So that way we're outside of the path of the mines. Looks like I see more stations or something out that way. Um, oh yeah, here we go. 
this is where we're going right here. Cigaris Pioneers. Oh, nice. Wharf. That's a wharf. Okay, good. So we can repair there. And I could even, if I wanted to, uh, change my weapons out to kill the rest of those mines. But I'm not going to do that in this episode. That's probably something I'll do off camera. Just because, you know, it's going to kind of be same old, same old after the first few. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, let's head over here and check this out. Okay, let's repair our ship. We're pleased to welcome you aboard. That's it. It's repaired already. I guess so. Okay, yeah, like I said, we'll um I might come back here later and, and swap out the weapon. Whoa, easy there. Good lord. Um you know, to take care of those mines later, but let's not do that now. Let's see if we can find the next um gate here. So there's stuff over this way. Let's head over here. Let's see what else we got. We're gonna let's do a long range scan right about now. Oh shit, another minefield. We're heading right towards it. Okay. I can see it on my radar, so let's just bypass it. That looks like a, yeah, that's a medical supply. Looks like we got our work cut out for us, man, to clear all these mines out. There's some, uh, Bad guys. Medical supply factory. Computronic substrate fab. Computronic substrate fab. Okay. Um. Alright. Let's stop for a second. Got another station there. Let's go check that out. That's a stimulants lab. Okay. Okay, since that is by itself, more than likely that's the gate out of here. Um, let's go make sure that we check out what this station is first though and then I'm pretty sure that other thing is is gonna be the gate out of here That's a solar power plant there. And here's the gate. Let's go. Entering system, Sol. Sol system. Oh, cool, man. Okay. So I'm assuming that's probably Neptune or Uranus. Um, let's take a look. Yeah, Neptune. Uh, why does it say Sol? Why did it say Sol system? It should have said Neptune. I don't know. Uh, what does it have to say about this system? 
The gas, this gas giant was named for the Roman god of the sea in part, at least because of its stunning azure color. Its shimmering surface has enticed many Terran tourists to visit and take in the sights for themselves. As a planet furthest removed from Sol, its orbit marks the threshold of the vast and relatively uninhabited emptiness of the Kuiper Belt. This remote location was also the reason why Neptune was chosen as the location for the third gate to be created by Terran engineers. Its intended function was to re-establish contact with the Terran colonies outside of the Sol system in an attempt to maintain some influence over Commonwealth politics. As a result of hosting this additional gate, the sector also came to serve as a logical point of origin for the Pioneer Initiative, which was sent out to further develop Brennan's triumph in the outer rim of Sol, and which would eventually evolve into the Sakaris Pioneers. Cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a long range. Hopefully there these other systems don't have a crap ton of minefields in them. That would suck. Alright, so we got some stations. Another object there, stationed down that way. Very cool. Alright, so um we're going to have to figure out how to get our rep with the Terrans to minus five, because I think it has to be minus five before they'll allow our ships to dock. And then once that happens, we can bring traders over here to start working on it. I don't know if these guys have Xenon or, you know, enemies in their territory. That's usually the easiest way to get the rep. But if they don't, then we're probably going to have to do missions and things like that. Um, so let's go ahead and start uncovering uh, the stations that they have. Orbital Defense Station. Unknown station. Micro lattice factory. Unknown station. Computronic substrate. Unknown station. Farm. Medical supply fact satellite. Medical supply. Okay, there's a gate right there. Unknown object. Yeah, I think that's the one we saw. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll shoot past this and we'll see what this station is out here. And then kind of circle back around. MRE packing facility. Unknown station. Computronic thingy. Unknown station. Okay, let's head back the other direction. Back over this way. Unknown station. Computronic substrate. Some stuff way off in the distance this way. Oh, that's another gate. Unknown object. Micro lattice factory. Micro lattice factory. Okay. Let's head this way. Baldrick. MRE packing for medical supply factory. All right, let's take a look and see. Okay, good. So they do have some quests here that we can work on for them. Um, so that's an, acceler an accelerator and that's an accelerator. Let's go find out what this is. But I think unless we, you know, unless we come across enemies, I think doing missions for these guys is the way that we're going to be able to get rep with them.
What if you guys told me in the comments that the the Terran start um, is is a really good storyline? So it's very possible. Not no, I'm not making any promises one way or the other, but it's very possible that if we do another playthrough of this game, uh, we would do the Terran start. I see a gate over there. Um, that's probably the gate we came through, though. Jump gate, Brennan's yeah, Triumph. That's the gate we came through. Okay. Silicon Carbide Factory. Okay, so I think we've uncovered everything here. Um, let's just do one more long range. Okay, looks like there might be a quest there too. There's a lot of Cigaris um, stations here too, but we need to make sure that if we do a quest, we're doing it for the Terran stations. All right, let's go to this accelerator and see where it takes us. Stuff off to the left. Did we already discover that stuff? Yeah, I think we did. Okay. Pluto. Pluto. Cool. There's still a lot of cigar stuff around here. All right, cool. All right, guys. Well, I think um, we are out of time for this episode. So what I'm going to do... Trying to decide if I want to do another episode of just uncovering the Terran systems. Excuse me. Or if I'm just going to do that off camera. I think... I think what I'll do is I'll do... I'll, I'll plan on doing it off camera, but I will keep the recorder running in case something significant happens. And we can show that in the next episode. If nothing real significant happens, um, then we'll just start the next episode. Probably right um, when I hit the Earth, uh, when I hit Earth, the Earth sector, and we'll go from there. Okay. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye bye.